Hi guys, so there's a kit build. Um, it's got a uh, FM on here. And it sits itself. Let me just show you a quick image of it. It's uh, quite a cute looking thing. Right, but one of the first things I noticed, and let me just turn it over. The bag's going to be all awfully noisy. So. And we've got the casing. So yeah, so these have got some uh, some lining paper on them. I expect to stuff them from getting scratched. So if you wanted to, you could actually build it up like this if you wanted to. I've got no idea how these things go together yet. Uh, like I say, it doesn't it doesn't come with a manual. Um, one of the things I did notice is before I bought a radio kit from China before, and oh, and the speaker in it. There was one like this, uh, not much use as you might be able to tell. This one, it's got its own spin action that goes on. So this radio never really got built. And I was going to be disappointed if the same type of speaker came through again, but we didn't, we got, we got a different type of speaker. This one's actually, uh, you know, it's, it's almost like this is like a gel or something. But, um, the same sort of size nearly but the big difference is the big difference is this is actually oh cool it's actually got quite a powerful magnet on the back has <laughs> drawing my hands together so um so yeah that that, that looks like it's going to be a, a a nicer sounding speaker than that one so that was uh, one of the uh, good surprise for this So we've got a bunch of carbon, all, all, all the same um, value there. Let's have a quick look at the value of these actually and just see what they are. Look over there and it says a 10k, okay. 10k. We've got a bunch of 10k resistors. We've got some uh, 100 microfarad. Chong X. Pity uh, it wasn't live, I could say. Is it worth me swapping out these capacitors, you think? These are just general purpose, but as this is a little radio. Oh, what we got here? Look. Oh, wow. Okay. That looks like quite a small part to solder. Mm hmm. We need to be careful of these. Okay, there's, I presume these are all going to be you know, the same brand here. Chong X, I think that's how you say it. Chonks. Chongs. Chongs. Oh, Cheech and Chong. Oh, funny films. Uh, we got 10 microfarads here. Oh, so I'm 50 volt. I assume this is about the same, yep. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so there's a few capacitors there. We've got a few transistors as well. We've got, uh, what's this? This is the uh, amplifier, I presume. LM386N. I can't remember if the N, I need to look that up. Okay, and there's a... LM386N again. Really? Is there two spaces for this on there? Oh, we can't see. There's one here. But I can't see another footprint for another one of these, so there's a spare one. Okay. And this is where uh, that little uh, circuitry is. where this is going to go. You can see the crystal laying down the side there. Uh, so we've got plenty of places for the 10k, so what we're going to do then is we're just going to get on with it. We're going to stick all the 10k's in and get these transistors in. Now unfortunately the 912's, all these little uh, transistors, they're all the same, which is good. Uh, you on this is the uh, ST processor there. So that's on a board as well. So that's in a socket swivel switch. Yep, it is a toggle as well, so we've got click action, left, right, up, down, and press. No, the turning isn't going to do anything, but we got a little uh, 
I know it's wiggle. <laughs> Oh, they've got another one as well. What's that do? That's the same. Yep. There's only a one colour, so I don't know what colour that's going to be on the um, on the front of this. On the image, it looks like it's red, and it, uh, sorry, it looks like it's blue, and it looks like the, the letters are red. The characters, the numbers, we'll get there eventually. Oh, and we've got some little 22 puffs. These are uh, 100 nano. The 10 fours. So that's 100 nanos. There we go, 10 4, C5, 10 4. Yeah, and there's some little uh, 100 puffs down there. Uh, 22 puff. So everything looks to be present and correct. Got a 4.7k in here somewhere. And they, uh, this is where the antenna is going to go. Oh, we've got to cut this out as well here, I think. Well, it looks like it's still got a bit at the edge of the board. Um, <laughs> so the antenna will go on this. I will assume oh, it's going to be sticking out of the box, so we'll have to remember that when we start putting this together. A little barrel adapter, a standard size barrel um, connectors. That display. There's nothing on the back of this board. The antenna could go on the back of there, it's nice and it's got some nice cutouts. On what that's for. I don't see a battery. Oh no, that's no, not a battery. This is where you do your volume control, I would have thought. The tuning and everything will be from those sticks. This is gonna be is that your on-off? No, it's not your on-off switch because we've got the on-off switch is gonna be going here. No, it's not, it's going here. They're going to be sitting in there. Sort the, sort the legs out there because they're a bit wide of the place. Alright then. Well, that's a little look at it. We've got all these little standoffs and screws. Like I said, there's no instructions. So I'll pull up the... Um, I'll have a little look on the uh, page there and stick it up for us all to have a look at. It.